Let's do a little rank play. <clears throat> Still rolling with the Pirate Warrior this season. I hate to say it, but he's got me my personal best so far. My personal best was 9 with the Dragon Priest, and well, Pirate Warrior's got me up to 7. But oh well. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'll see if we can't get to 6 right now. Mm hmm. Okay. I like that. I like that starting hand. I like to coin out for the war axe and then drop the corsair and upgrade on the second turn. That should be interesting. All right, nothing too terrible to work with. Let's see. Alright. See what he's got for us today. See what he's working with. Oh, duh. Trevor. Jeez. Dum dum. There we go. Come on, dude. What you got? Okay. Now I can drop all these in one turn. I feel like I gotta. As much as I hate to waste a four on him. What he's gonna do have, have to do something substantial to get rid of that that taunt there. <clears throat> get in there, and fight. Okay, there we go. Fine, fine with that. Although we will lose, will lose small time next turn. Oh, I should definitely. And we'll take them out. So again, he'll have to he'll have to burn some some spells or something to get rid of him. Ah, oh, very nice, very nice, sir. That's a that's a double. It's a double damage there. Oof. Now I am very torn. That gives us the best value for what we have now, and then we save those two guys in our in our back pocket, our charges there. So, he's going to need some taunts and some heals. Oh, at least his hand is dwindling, but man, that is... Okay, alright. I think we play the Elite next turn. Oh, perfect. Ah, well... Or do we drop Leroy? And then go into the Elite and the Heroic Strike next turn. Okay, well, he's got no taunts on board, and he's only got two cards in hand, so he's going to have to burn probably hit the tap again. We'll see. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. We don't win this turn, but uh, unless we draw something, but I don't think he's going to be able to kill me. 
let's see what's he got on board he's got oh that is dangerously close 11 Whew. yeah we man see so he has there's no way for me ah I'm one point off one point off but I feel like I can't take any additional damage oh man oh this is gonna be a heartbreaker all right he's got mercy got 13 on board he can't tap so whatever he has in hand has to kill me if it's anything that buffs uh. okay he didn't rage quit so that makes me a little nervous I'm hoping he's got like minion damage uh. man that's rough top deck discharge Ah, uh, that is, that's painful. But hey, can't tell you how many times I've... <laughs> Granted, most of the cards in my deck are aggressive, but I have been the on the receiving end of those nice top decks. Ah, we're going to push ourselves. we gotta, we got to win one to stay in seventh here. But no, I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to try and run this one until I get to... At least until I get up to five, and then maybe start using some of my different decks and experimenting with some decks because I just have a feeling a lot of the stuff being ran up there is probably a lot different than the latter, you know, pretty much five up through 25. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Again, starting with some. This is probably risky, but I'm actually not a huge fan of. Uh, Starting with the small guys, yeah, that kind of backfired on me. We'll see what I draw on the first turn, though. We've got a decent amount of our expensive cards in hand, so hopefully we'll draw something. It'd be awesome if we drew that fiery war axe. That's my favorite combo: is to start with the fiery war axe, and then like the the raider and the corsair just gives me a lot of a lot of options on turn two and three. But um, Throwing an upgrade in there. Okay, that's annoying. Did not get the war axe. Ah, see, that's annoying. Let's see. Oh well, she's not getting any addition to her damage, but she's got to use some spells to take them both out and leave him alive. <coughs> None of this is ideal. And it's already starting very, very badly. I'm going to have two losses on this one. Right out the gate. Emma stoned, huh? That's cute. Man, I'm just getting these all at the wrong time right now. I mean, I just, at this point, I'm not putting any damage on face. I, I hate doing that, but I gotta keep up with this board. <laughs> okay, well. I'm assuming that's not the totem he was hoping for. Still, just not. I haven't got a single weapon yet. This is hilarious. Depending on what he throws down here, probably 
play the Corsair next turn. Hopefully I get a weapon and I can discount him. Be nice if I got the Arcanite. Nice little combo there, but I don't know. Not not holding my breath right now. Not getting a single chance at a weapon so far is really screwing me. I shouldn't have been greedy at the beginning. I should have just should have just mulled out my whole hand. Ah, that might be it right there. Man. Yeah, I would need Arcanite right now. I think that's best case scenario right now. With what we got, at least we got technically a weapon. Not really a weapon, but it's on now. Yeah, turn five and he's only down to twenty five. That's rarely is that a good sign with this deck. A lot of times you want to be setting up the kill strike on the next turn or the next two turns. And he knows he can afford to use his spells on me now because he knows that the stalls in the late game, so. Mercy. Shouldn't have got greedy in the mulligan phase. I should have just ditched it all out to get some low cost or get some weapons. I always get greedy when I have when I have coin. Every time I get so greedy. I want the best case scenario. Oh well, man. That stinks. Well, I was briefly in my personal best. I was briefly, very briefly in the seventh rank. And that's a lot of the reason why I'm running Pirate Warrior right now. You know, I'm just not I'm still somewhat of an amateur when it comes to especially this high and, and the ladder. Um, you know, I mess around with a lot of decks that could get me into the even the lower teens sometimes, but really started trying to get serious with ranked the last month and a half. And uh, you know, when you're trying to compete with these people at the top of the list here, it's uh, you just kind of have to go with what works for a while and until you figure out what what you're looking at. You know what people are running, what what the meta's like in a zone that you've never really been in. And after you've done that for a while, then you can maybe figure out some different decks that you can try. But it's got to be higher rank than I've ever been before. So regardless of what anyone says about this deck, I uh, it's going to have at least a, a, a small special place in my heart. <laughs> uh, this might have to be... My last one, I was hoping to get a W in, but, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I wasn't planning on attacking with my my weapon, but it's just rookie. Rookie moves, man. Rookie moves. I see what you're doing there. Alright, 
Probably not a bad idea. I, I, he's if he's running Pirate Warrior, um, then he's. I mean, I, there would be no reason for. I don't know. That's weird. I mean, armor. My blade be thirsty. Okay. All right. That makes a little more sense. Hmm. And now I'm torn. He's going to take him out next turn if, if I don't, so. Either way. He's forcing me to. Uh, I don't like using Mortal Strike on on minions, but that's a that's a must right there. If I want to stay in this game. <clears throat> so on the next turn, I think we'll drop Arcanite. got those two on board. That way we'll up our durability next turn, throw out the small time, and probably have room to throw out something else. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a good draw right there. Let's, uh, We're actually going to take out his Berserker. I'll tell you what, for the start and some of the some of those rough turns, I'm not sitting in a bad place. It's not awesome that we're drawing blank now, but uh, if you can't deal with that 8-3, then we're sitting sitting pretty. We got a lot of worst thing we could draw right now would be like another okay <clears throat> be like another weapon. Be nice to pull like a Leroy or a oh the elite. It's not the worst, certainly not the best. I didn't attack with my weapon before charging. Now we can draw a weapon. I'd be okay with drawing a weapon now. <laughs> Give me the old Arcanite on the next turn. Man. He hadn't played a pirate that whole game. That's funny. Uh, he's going to heal up, man. Come on, Leroy. That's not Leroy. Dang it. And I would have held on to her, but... Yeah. Dang it. <sighs> Unless we get like Arcanite now. We're screwed. Because with Arcanite at least we could drop him down to three. He could heal up to five, but we'd be able to kill him on the next turn. But if we don't draw Arcanite this turn, it's probably over. That's it, man. Gosh, three in a row. It's rough. Yeah, I mean that's like I said, I played that I played that same kind of approach when it was against another pirate warrior. You kind of take more of a conservative approach and let them run out of steam 
and it, it almost didn't pay off for him, but once I got down to nothing, he was sitting in a good spot. Oh, rough. I've had some really good luck lately. I think that's the longest losing streak I've had in a while. We'll do one more, and if we lose another, then <laughs> we'll just cut our losses, bust some packs open, and live to fight another day tomorrow, maybe. Come on. Give me one W before I get off. Ugh. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, I hate that tunnel truck. Gosh, it seems like such a waste to do a heroic strike on him. There's a part of me that rather throw out the, the sailor and just <laughs> take out my two on board. I think I'm doing it. So that means he's got overload in his deck. Just get it out of the way. Well, not in his deck, in his hand. If he wants to use it now, he's not going to get any added benefits from it. Oh, come on, Dieter. All right. I can live with that. Put a green little leprechaun out on your board. Okay. I'm okay with him using that. Ooh. That's fascinating. I am going to do this. And next turn I'm going to drop that sea captain. Hoping he doesn't have like a mail storm or lightning storm <clears throat> well he can't he can't cast can't cast lightning storm a stern but he might have mail storm which would be awesome but it would be the worst thing <sighs> he overloaded himself so if he does have lightning storm in his hand he's kicking himself a little bit right now the next turn might be able to use it, but if I can have two two pirates on the board and buff them up, I'll be decent. Yep, there it is. Okay. Well, none of that's awesome. Alright, I guess we're going... Full blown. I mean, when you know you're already hit, getting dicey on cars, the the two that you want the most is heroic or not heroic strike. Uh, steady shot and uh, the life tap, because with life tap, at least you're able to draw more cards, and with the steady shot. At least when you just have nothing else to do, you're doing decent face damage. 
And that's that's the big thing that Pirate Warrior is going to miss um, once Ungoro comes out. Yeah, that's not good. Man, this is a really cruddy situation right here. Just... I mean, the only thing I can think of is Mortal Strike and then take him out with Finley and the weapon and then even then I don't have <laughs> I can't play anything else <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna steady shot it and see what we get it's just such a waste I mean I'm literally would be playing South Sea Captain just to get not even traded. He's still gonna be alive. It's just worthless. Ah. One of the most depressing things a pirate warrior can see is the old spirit wolves. Alright, well, at least now he's gonna have to make a decision. Man, it was just not not meant to be today. That was rough. There's a part of me that wants to run another one after this. <laughs> four, four dead in a row after being up to seven. Man, that's oh, that's painful. But it's a lot less painful with Pirate Warrior than it was with, say. Dragon Priest, or you know, a, a, a Reno Lock, or even a Jade Druid, or something like that. Because at least with those, the problem with those is you lose four in a row. It takes forever to get. Even if you get four wins in a row, those games run so long, it just takes forever to get back up there. Everybody, and I don't care what anyone says. I I've been hating on this mid-range Jade Shaman more than I have Pirate Warrior. They're way more annoying. Way more annoying. Gosh. Maybe we'll get lucky. That's why I'm holding on to that Mortal Strike, because he's clearly going to be putting some damage on my face over the next couple turns, maybe. <coughs> somehow I'll be able to sneakily get him down to where I can sneak that behind his stupid taunts. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. Hmm. I mean, I run mid-range shaman some, but I don't know. For me, it's it's not that it's not, it's not that it's a bad deck, but okay. Gosh, this is just keeping me alive at this point. But I'm just hoping. <laughs> I'm just hoping I'll pull something off here. I don't know how. I used to... I mean, Shaman was my favorite class to start this game, but that was mainly playing wild and and casual. Not, not playing standard or even doing a lot of ranked play in wild. Yeah, that's... Of course course. Get that taunt. Get that taunt, man. He's got... <sighs> I don't... I don't see this working out. 
because even if I get like a charge or something next turn, I guess. Let's see, we're uh, we got one upgrade left. Uh, even then, it's. Uh, I'm getting my karma today. Pirate warrior karma. One more. One more, and then packs. So I will at least leave myself one star in eight rank. And I, I would l like. I was watching Hobbs today on his channel, and uh, I would love to run stuff like he does, you know. But I don't know. I just it's so annoying to just because even when you're running good fun decks, like I mean, his decks are fun. And they're, you know, a lot of times they're really good, but a they some of them just take forever to play out, which I don't mind a long game. But man, when you're climbing from 25 and trying to, I've never been to, I've never been to legend rank, but I've been, you know, two seasons in a row now where I've got past 10. But man, when you're when you're trying to climb, to like my goal for this season was to get to five. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But um, playing some of those decks, especially with just the the stuff that everyone else is playing, everyone's running Pirate Warrior, Mid Range Shaman, you know, the uh, Reno Locks and stuff. You, it's just you can't really try new stuff. See if he plays an Azoth shipmate, and if so, we'll. Ah, come on. I'm not drawing. I'm not drawing small time buccaneer first. You can. You can be okay. Yeah. Throwing out his corsair. <clears throat> okay. Take my small time, you won't have to use that weapon. Gosh, not a deal again. I should have just I should have just stopped <sighs> when it was just gone from bad to worse. Oh well, at least we can drop both of them next turn. Get a little two three weapon. It's just so demoralizing when <laughs> he's got the hand that he does and I've got the hand that I do. It's just like really.
probably should have. <sighs> Alright, so next turn he's dropping at least 12 to my face. He's got Reno, or uh, yeah, if he's not Reno, Leroy in hand. Uh, mortal Strike at this point. This is probably stupid, but. I don't see a way of me winning this right now. Him having four cards in his hand, running an aggro deck, there's no way. He even if he can't win this turn, yeah. So he's gonna have that. Uh, that's game. Dang it. Unless I get no, even then, even if I got heroic strike, I'm screwed. Nope. That's just not gonna cut it. Man, that is a rough, rough stretch. But hey, take the good with the bad. This deck get me to rank 7. It can also drop me about 5 stars in a half an hour. So let's do something that will make me happy and not annoyed and frustrated. Let's open some packs. Alright, so I think last time we got, how many packs did we open? I forget. I think we have, so we got two legendaries last time, and we um, after the last legendary we opened 12 packs, so if we open all these, we up to 37, so we'd be only three away from the mercy rule, so there's a pretty good chance we'll, we'll get a legendary, hopefully, in busting these. We'll see. Alright. Fun. Lame. Give me the good stuff. Come on. At least give me some goldens. Alright, it's alright. We're only about 15 packs in. 15, 16, 17. Okay, there's an epic. Some dust. Most of this is dust. Almost all of it is dust. If I get down to only three packs away from the rule, still don't get one. It's alright though, the other day I got. It was uh, two packs in, I got a legendary, so I can't really complain. Excited to open those Ungoro packs. I hope it's early April, not late April. A lot of people are saying it's going to be early April. We'll see. New cards coming out. Looking pretty cool. Golden Rare. Okay. Alright. About halfway through the packs that we had. Let's see, we've opened 13, so we're up to 25 total that we open. I think the mercy rule, the chances exceed, in, uh, okay, good, um, increase exponentially after 30 is when it gets really high, so 12, let's see, 12, 15, so three more and we'll be at 30. Two more. Boom! <laughs> Nat Pagel! Yes! Awesome. Awesome. No. Not awesome. <laughs> Nat Pagel, you suck. 
Oh, well. It's funny. It's actually very ironic that I get Nat Pagel because I love Nat Pagel once because I got a golden Nat Pagel, which is a free legendary. Well, that's a perfect way to just top off a, what was it, five loss streak today with the legendary of Nat Pagel. What a cool dude. I'm just going to open these. I, uh... I'm probably not gonna buy any more classics. Probably the rest of the iTunes credits and gold I get, I'm just gonna put them in, wait for Angoro and put them all into that. But yes, now that's awesome. Okay, that's that's perfect. Way to I I just barely snatched victory. From the clutches of defeat. So this was a semi-success today. So we've got Onyxia, which I, I actually don't have either of them. Like I said, I did have Nat Peggle at one point, and uh, <laughs> a golden one, and I deconstructed him as fast as I possibly could. Golden coming! One more, come on! Come on, let's make this fun. Okay. That was good. That was good. Not a total waste of of life today. I was I, I was able to open a pack and get Onyxia, so that's cool. Um, unlike a lot of other people, I love getting my dust. I don't really care about nerfs and stuff like that. Of course, they're classic, so I'm not worried about that. But almost 1,200. Hey, almost have a legendary just from all that deconstructing. Do have a little bit sitting there, kind of deciding what I want to use it for. But uh, okay, that was it. That was fun. Um, haven't streamed or done too much online video for Hearthstone up to this point, but uh, I've been extremely lucky and successful on any videos or streams I have done. And today showed the opposite side of that the absolute um, thrashing we took today. But to get old Nat Pagel and Onyxia. Super excited about that. Um, if you if you did stop by today, not many of you, but um, you know you got to start somewhere. Appreciate you stopping in and checking out um, on Twitch. Would love it if you'd hit that follow button. And if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the uh, like and subscribe and comment. Let me know if uh, you like the con uh, content. If there's any other stuff, any decks, any other videos you'd like me to try, um, I am always answering comments. So. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, and until I see you next time, take it easy, and happy gaming.